Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all of your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. My great grandmother always talked to me about God. Always told me to pray to Jesus and this and that. But there were certain things that happened to me as a child. and So I was pretty, you know, had a bit of a chip on my shoulder. Well, you know, I was sexually abused as a child, so I've never really had um, trust for anyone. As I hit my teenage years through my 20s, the idea of Jesus just started not, it was hard to believe. My brother's death led to my mass hatred. I, I was angry at God. I actually told him to bring it on. I said, how much worse can it get? I was just down and out, owed a bit of money for drugs, you know, so in some drugged out bright idea, I just thought going to South America and picking up a kilo of coke was the answer. So I got caught putting uh, cocaine inside a skateboard deck. Just got arrested at the airport and I got busted bringing the cocaine back to Australia from South America. I was locked up. I just remember my dad's words before he died after Ben killed himself. Um, he just said, you know, you need God, read the Bible to us. Trust me, read the Bible, you'll see. You know, because my dad, he never took us to church and and he realized in the end that, you know, Jesus was the only answer and that's what this life's about. And um, it's only now that I see that God used that to get me locked up, to get me in a place to read his word. starting to read the Old Testament there and then I saw how in Exodus how God hardened Pharaoh's heart and softened his heart just to make sure he could see the miracles so the parables of what I was reading in the Bible I was seeing unfold in prison that was when I started realizing wow this book is real and it wasn't until I fully just said all right Jesus if you're real prove it I like drugs, I like um, being promiscuous, I like doing all that stuff. So if you are real and you do want to help me, you're going to have to make me not like that. Make me love what you love. That's the miracle. The fact that you start to choose good over your sinful nature, your flesh. Since I've given my life to God, like people trip out how I got through that and I just explain it was Jesus. I just know everything's in God's hands. I'm not where I ought to be, but I'm not where I was by the grace of God. <laughs>